Hello everyone, Marco Cipetta for Hot Hardware here with a couple of the hottest products to be announced in recent memory. This is the brand new AMD Radeon RX 6800 and underneath it, it's big brother, the 6800 XT. This is not a full review, but we are finally allowed to show you the cards in the flesh. So let's get these boxes ripped open and take a look. Okay, let's start with the RX 6800. Let's get this box opened up here. Well, wow. so inside the box is this little container with some cool graphics and additional messaging here. And underneath this, we have a basic little literature pack. And then there is the card itself. That is the AMD Radeon RX 6800. So before I pick the card up and give you a tour, I should probably get some specs out of the way first. As mentioned, this is the Radeon RX 6800. This is the card with 60 compute units and 128 megabytes of infinity cache. The GPU has a game clock of uh, 1,815 megahertz, so just over 1.8 gigahertz, with a boost clock of 2,105 megahertz, so just over 2.1 gigahertz. There is 16 gigs of GDDR6 memory attached to the GPU, and the board power is 250 watts. All right, so let's take a tour of the RX 6800. Obviously, the dominant feature on the front, can't miss those three axial cooling fans with the nice uh, R right in the center. I'm not sure if you could see it on video, but behind all three fans, there is nothing but heatsink. Um, you don't see anything behind the fans but heatsink fins. If I tilt the card up to the top, you'll see it's two slots wide, and you can see that heat plate and heatsink fins run the entire length of the PCB. You can also see it on the bottom here. You know, that is all heatsink fins, and there's the uh, connectors for the fans. Also visible up on the top are a pair of standard PCI Express 8-pin power connectors. Nothing proprietary there, just the standard connectors we've been using for years. And if I flip the card over this way, you can see a backplate covers the entire backside, held on by a bunch of Phillips head screws, and another big Radeon R right in this corner. So if we flip the card over this way, there's not much to see but a few screw holes for some additional mounting hardware. But over on the other side, there is plenty to see. So here on the case bracket, there's a full-sized HDMI port, a couple of full-sized display ports, and a USB-C port. Um, there's some cool Radeon branding as well, but no ventilation to pump hot air out of your system. All right, the RX 6800 is definitely a cool looking graphics card, but let's dig in and take a look at its big brother, the 6800 XT. And here we have the 6800 XT. Let's pop this box open. This guy opens a little differently. Some additional branding on the top red lid there. Similar graphics. And if we pick this thing up, bingo, there is the 6800 XT. So at first glance, you're probably thinking, wow, that looks just like the RX 6800. And yeah, the design language is identical, but there are some significant differences here. So the RX 6800 XT has 72 compute units versus 60 on the 6800. There's also 128 megs of infinity cache. The game clock and boost clock are higher though. The 6800 XT has a 2015 megahertz game clock and a 2250 megahertz boost clock. There's also 16 gigs of GDDR6 on board, and this guy has a 300 watt TDP. So while it looks the same, the GPU is more capable, and I'm gonna show you some other physical differences as well. If I flip the RX 6800 XT up this way, you can see the first major difference here. The heatsink is much taller. So this card is an additional half slot width, so two and a half slots on this guy. The only difference though that I can see with the physical design is that the heatsink fins are taller. So more surface area on the heatsink and then in turn the shroud has to be taller as well. But that heatsink runs the entire length of the PCB just like the RX 6800. And at this end, the same two power connectors, two 8-pin PCI Express power connectors. And if we flip it over, you'll see similar setup down here as well. Just all heatsink fins and a couple of wires for the fans and lighting. Same deal on this end of the card. So save for the 6800 XT being a little wider. Um, it just has the same four screw holes for additional mounting hardware. And the port configuration is the same as well. You know, single HDMI port, two full-size display ports, and that USB-C port. And again, um, no external ventilation even on the bigger card. 
with the two cards side by side, it's easier to see the difference in width here. So the 6800 XT uh, up top, 6800 on the bottom here, 6800 XT just a little bit thicker. Uh, you'll also notice the unlit Radeon logo, different color on the two cards, white on the 6800 XT and red on the 6800. I think we'll have to wrap things up right there. As I mentioned earlier, this was not a full review. This was just to give you a glimpse of the RX 6800 and 6800 XT. If you come by hothardware.com on the 18th, we will have the full reviews posted with all of the performance data I'm sure you wanna see. So for now, if you dug this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to tick that reminder bell so you know when we have new video content going live. And speaking of video content, Wednesday during our podcast, we should have a couple of special guests from AMD to talk more about these cards and AMD's plans for the future. So once again, this is Marco Cipetta for Hot Hardware. Thanks for stopping by.